this video is going to cover the relevant search introduced in Dynamics 365. So just before I do, I'd like to just show you the, the previous kind of type of search um, that was in um, in previous versions, Dynamics uh, CRM 2016, update one and so on. So um, if I just put, if I just search uh, cat, and you can see that I've got um, grouped entities with the search cat, I can do cats, nothing's found, let's just go back to cat, and there they are again. So, um, what you need to do before you start kind of getting all the advantages of relevant search, um, you need to actually enable it. So, go to your administration section, click on system settings, and you'll see in the general, scroll down, and you'll see set up search, enable relevant search here. If you tick it, there is um, an ex part of part of this you do need to kind of accept it and, and read all kind of the privacy stuff because it does use Microsoft Azure to kind of enhance the searching capabilities of dynamic CRM so if you click OK to that and then OK that's essentially all the setup that you need to do so then we'll basically um, we'll just go through what that actually does why it's a little bit different to the previous kind of categorized search um, and um, and why it's going to be useful. Okay, so now that we've enabled relevant search for your organization, we just now need to configure relevant search. So I've currently just opened the default solution, and you can see here that I've currently got the entities tab highlighted, and I've got available to me the button configure relevant search with the little spyglass. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And very similar to when you configure the quick search um, functionality, um, the categorized search, uh, that I showed you earlier, um, you have a very similar concept in terms of you've got what's available to you and, and which entities are, are um, uh, that, that's actually currently utilised in that search facility. So um, there are actually quite a lot enabled out of the box as well. So I've just put cat over here. Um, it's just a simple, simple kind of select and move over. Once you're happy with that, you simply click OK. And then what you will then need to do is you just need to then configure which actual fields that you want the search to find on and which fields in those entities that you want to actually view on the results as well. So to do that you need to go per entity um, to the quick find view um, and then configure those, um, those columns in the view. So let's just go ahead and do this for the account entity. here so I'm going to do find and let's just say mm, we've got let's just select a few okay and a few now one of the things um there will I will kind of link the uh the uh, some of some helpful articles in the uh, description box in the video and um, because there are some field types that aren't available um uh, and won't work in both the find and the view um, uh, s configurations um, specifically the lookup unfortunately so the lookup is one of those um, types of fields that won't work in either the find or the um, or the view um, but I will put the link on with the full list I'm not going to go through it in the video so I've just configured that so I'm going to go ahead and save and close um, and just then go ahead and publish the changes um, and then we'll have a look at relevant search in action so now that relevant search is all set up and configured, I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing that I did at the start of the video and just search on cat. So you'll actually be able to see very quickly that this is actually very, very different from the categorized search. So um, I've actually got just one single list based on relevance that are of all the different entities that are currently configured for relevant search. Um, and also, let's just say, so now I've got a little bit more scope to work with. Um, it's also got the opportunity to switch back to categorized search as well. But you may have noticed, if I don't just go and accidentally click on a record, um, you may have actually noticed um, in those uh, in those results that I've actually got um, a, some some kind of filtering, more filtering capabilities than I previously did have on categorized search. And these are very similar to when you're shopping online and you can actually search and filter based on different products and things that you want and brands and so on. This is very similar to that. So for example, if I just want to focus on contacts, it will only bring back contacts and so on. So um, there is a way to also configure these. Um, so if I go to my settings here and go to options, you'll actually now be able to see, now that relevant search is all enabled, 
that I've got a few different options for my search experience as an end user. I can specify which search I actually want to um, want to be the default search. Now I can it can be dynamic based on my last search, or I can choose relevance or categorize. Um, and I can also um, actually configure what's referred to as these facets and filters, which are those things that you see on the left hand side of that screen there. So um, I would then select the account. Um, so account or, or any entity that's that's configured for this um, and then it will give me the um, the available fields that it isn't already using um, to be able to actually then configure um, configure what I can actually filter on um, and apply to uh, to my initial um, search uh, search result list so um, that's that's pretty much the relevant search in a nutshell and um, there are a lot more uh, a lot more to it in regards to if you want to know the ins and outs of how it works but I will put um, a few links in the description box uh, just below the video so I hope it helps